Hello, welcome back to the Bold Man with Broken Headphones YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Fanatec Podium Series Direct Drive Wheel Base, or should I say Wheel Bases, announcement that was made last night uh, announcing the Wheel Bases. Uh, I'm going to go through the details of the wheels super quickly. For those of you that don't have any time and you, ju you just want to know, well, what is it? What's going on? Why do I care? And then I'm going to give my pretty much useless, pointless and uh, unrequested opinion on, on their launch and the wheelbases and what it means for direct drive wheels and, and what have you. So in terms of the, uh, the details, uh, you can pre-order them now, uh, the, the DD1 or the DD2. Well, you can't technically pre-order the DD1. You have to do some bizarre Fanatec auction system for the, for the direct drive wheel one if you if you want to pre-order that where there's a one minute count I, I, it's bonkers but you can pre-order both bases now they're actually going to be coming out in december on the 7th this year the price is going to be 1500 american dollars um for the dd2 no uh, proper price for the dd1 at this point in time uh it doesn't come with a with a uh, steering wheel that's just for the wheelbase uh, the main specifications, of course, it's direct drive, which means the uh, when you put the wheel on it, the shaft coming out of the base is the motor, which is very important. Watch William Marsh's uh, video on uh, what is a direct drive wheel if you, if you don't know what a di direct drive wheel is, or watch some of my videos on the OSW if you want to see why this is exciting, why it matters, and why it's a little bit sad to know about these details. So don't watch those videos, just get a, get a life. The specifications... DD2, 24 newton meters. DD1, 80 newton meters. That's the peak torque value for those for those motors. Um, that's not necessarily the most important thing. What's really going to matter with them is the subtleties of how the force feedback's delivered, how well it works with the various titles, um, just and the actual end feel, the rotational speed. There's a load of nuanced subtlety that you you just won't know from from uh, random data points or random new to meter torque values we, we need to actually have the wheelbase in our hands and drive it with various simulators on various settings to really know what it actually feels like and if it's if it's really good if it's okay or if it's pants so now of course rather contentious is the price of the uh, wheelbase at one thousand five hundred dollars Personally, I was expecting it to be around about $1,350 to uh, $1,500. That just made sense looking at the previous price of the products. That's what I always hazard a guess that it was going to cost. But watching the uh, live stream and reading the comments, something you should, probably shouldn't do. Don't read comments. It's just, it's not, it's not healthy. Reading comments will upset you. Uh, the, what you really want to do is watch YouTube videos where it's just a long drawn out comment. I was expecting it to, as I say, release around about the price they've launched at. But crucially, I was really hoping they were going to do it with a, including a wheel rim. So, and a, and a relatively nice wheel rim. Because I feel that the wheel rims that Fanatec do are really nice quality. They look really nice. They remove that complexity of having to get a, a wheel rim with a product. You, you know, you just buy it, you've got a wheel rim there. It's all a unit. And of course, Fanatec, because they make their own wheel rims, uh, and they've got it all set up, they can sort of capitalise on, on that internally and then make the price point of the direct drive wheel much more appealing compared to other direct drive wheels on the market where you literally just buy a wheelbase and then you have to find a button box, then you have to find a real car rim, then you need to find a quick release system. Um, I, I'm a little bit... I, I, I'll be honest, I'm disappointed it doesn't, as I say, have a, have a wheel rim included with it. That said... It does have its uh, quick release system, um, and it does have all the everything's in a nice compact unit. All the electronics are in a, in a small base. Uh, you, you'll be able to get other Fanatec rims, plug them onto it, uh, and go. So it's, it is a really nice package. I think it will really appeal to uh, people that already are heavily bought into the Fanatec ecosystem so maybe they've already got Fanatec pedals they've already got uh, two or three Fanatec rims what they'll do now is they will uh, eBay their um, Club Sport uh, V2 belt driven wheel and they'll of course click my Fanatec affiliate link and they'll now buy the Fanatec um, direct drive base 
and they'll, they'll you know they'll probably be really happy moving along with that. They've, as I said, they're already happy with the Fantec ecosystem, so it makes sense for them. I do think though, because of the price point that they're selling it at, if you were someone that's been waiting, sat on the fence, balancing, hoping that the uh, the breeze doesn't knock you off the fence. Um, if you were waiting for the best bang for buck direct drive wheel that you can possibly get, then now you, you will have come to the realization that you can get um, that one of the uh, SimpliCity Sim Racing Bay OSW kits will be cheaper. You, I think you will be able to get uh, one of those wheels. It will be of comparable. Uh, I've not tried the, the Fanatec direct drive wheel. Maybe there's something magical about it, but I think it's very likely that those uh, a 20 newton meter small mage will be very comparable to the Fanatec wheelbase and for a couple of hundred pounds cheaper now obviously it's not going to be in as nice a shiny package you're going to have to get a quick release yourself you're going to have to get your, your car wheels but that might be also something that you're you're into you might want a specific real world car steering wheel like i use the omp to center on mine you might want to get a custom button box and you might want to do a custom quick release system uh you know there's, there's different people have different wants out of these things um one other aspect of the fanatec podium uh, series uh, direct drive series which i think is quite interesting is of course the fact that it's uh cross-platform support now i think the cross-platform support comes from a specific wheel rim that you would put on it rather than it being inherent to the base uh someone can uh, let us know in the comments if that's the case or if it is actually inherent to the base uh personally personally uh i do think it's somewhat bizarre spending one thousand five hundred dollars and more um for a wheel to play your console <laughs> your console driving games on uh you know i mean part part of me is like well you know if you're gonna if you're spending a lot of time playing it and you've got the money and you want the best force to be about wheel to play those games on console then you know fair enough it's what you spend your time on that kind of makes sense but the other part of me is like put that console in the dustbin get a pc get a set of course on the pc project cars 2 race room i racing whatever just get any of the pc driving simulators and put that console in the dustbin you've, you've got they're better they've got better force feedback they've got better communities they're, they're better they're just better forget the games consoles that's the other part of me um well i have the uh the simplicity sw20 and um I use a T300 PlayStation 4, so I can appreciate, as I say, I can appreciate cross-platform compatibility because it would be nice for me to just use my OSW on uh, on both platforms rather than having to use different wheels. So I, I can see both sides of it, but uh, put your console in the dustbin. Um, so aside from that, uh, where where are we at with this with this Fanatec Direct Drive wheel? What's what's the end conclusion? Uh, I'm really excited. Mostly because I just want more direct drive wheels to be on the market. Uh, we, the more direct drive wheels are, the more it becomes normalised. And maybe in the short term, sure, the Fanatec wheelbase is probably more expensive than what most people are expecting. But in the long term, uh, you'll start to see, um, in years in the future, you'll start to see those wheels will come down in price. Fanatec will come out with new products. Uh, you'll start to see second-hand Fanatec wheelbases. And because Fanatec is a, an established uh company people will be more comfortable with the second hand market on it it's a lot more simple than something like an osw it's all custom um so in the long run it just adds to that you know you've got like stuff like the field vr i don't know what they're doing with that but you've, you know you've got these these uh, osws and the the um the small major osws and the, the custom circuit boards on them coming out you've got the button box and everything you, you've just got this whole massive wide range stretch of direct drive input devices giving the consumer at the end of the day a lot of choice and even i have to say even outside of direct drive wheels there's time for granddad muscle outside of direct drive wheels i remember back in 18 1812 when the g25 came out using the g25 for the first time was like a bloody religious experience playing richard burns rally doing uh, france one repeatedly because it was so good and the force feedback was absolutely mind-blowing at the time compared to the uh, the momo black that i'd used previously in mad cats wheels and the xbox 360 force feedback wheel even the g25 is is really good and the g29 now which is basically g25 is actually really good as an input device and that's like the the, the sort of baseline there and you've got the the t300 and then you've got this whole stretch of products where you can decide do, do i just want to get into it and get something that's really good value for money or do i want to go completely bonkers at the end of the day 
it, it shows that sim racing is actually in quite a healthy place there's a ginormous market there it's expanding it's insane but it's absolutely amazing and so that's that's the ultimate positive message that Fanatec have, uh, I mean, they're in a position where they can go, oh, we're, we're a more generalized uh, driving uh, simulator uh, steering wheel device manufacturer, and even we feel that we can make a bonkers high-end product because there's a market to support that. So at the end of the day, it's, re it's all really good. It's all really good. I finished on a positive. Well done. Well done myself for being positive. It can be difficult to be positive sometimes, especially if you watch the news. Don't watch the news. Um, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I covered all the details. I hope uh, I hope I kept it vaguely interesting and uh, none of you fell into a small coma. That's, that's what I'm hoping. Um, it's 7.54 in the morning. Whilst I'm making this video, you might think that's not relevant. It is indeed very relevant because the only reason I made this video was because the shops have not opened yet for me to get some milk, for me to be able to make a cup of tea. I ran out of milk last night. I got up too early this morning. Terrible mistakes were made. Uh, I literally only do the sim racing and make these videos to bridge the gap between cups of tea. The secret is out. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I'm off to the shops to get a cup of tea. Goodbye, everybody.